so you come to the corner and you have to cut the corner. The corner is imperfect and so you have your your uh, adjoining wall counterpart of the paper. Now, here's the door. Here's our first wall, right? Then we come up to the wall that we're looking at when we enter the bathroom. This, this wallpaper to our left of our left eye has to be under the wallpaper in front of us. Has to be under it. Why? Because if it's not, if it's over it, you're going to see the edge of this paper right here, up against this wall. So you're hiding the edge under the wall, which you first see when you walk into the room. If you didn't do what I just said, you would come into the room and you would see this over here. This is what you'd be looking at. You'd be looking at the edge of this paper. And so we don't do that. Now, we cut it because we have to. Now, my British colleagues always remind me, Spencer, did you plumb the second piece? And they're right to criticize me. They're absolutely right. Look, look what happens when you cut the paper. You lose some pattern, right? What happened here? Well, we're gonna pull it down, but when you cut it and you underlap it, you know you're gonna lose a little pattern, right? But why do I stress this all the time? Because when I first started hanging paper, nobody taught me that. And I was like, oh no, I lost pattern. And I was like, I was worried. I was worried about it. Because I didn't think it was normal. I thought I was doing something wrong. So I wanna, there's a lot of people out there hanging paper these days, lots of people. In not only the USA, South America, big European paper hangers. You know, many of them contact me, and I love sharing information. New Zealand, Australia, okay? Dubai, got a uh, positive review from somebody in Dubai recently. Okay, now let me show you something about this wallpaper, just as an aside, okay? Now let's not call this cheap wallpaper. We don't, when we're in the business of hanging paper, we don't tell customers that your wallpaper's cheap. Okay, we just don't do that. Okay, guys. Let's, let's do this together. Is this a perfect match here? Yes, it is, isn't it? Okay, hold on to that thought. Okay, guys. Is this a perfect match? Sure it is. Let's go back up above our perfect match. What happened here? That is not a perfect match. That's a sixteenth of an inch off. I hate it. I hate it. And why is that? Now, we said we can't call wallpaper cheap. Do you get it? You get what I'm trying to say? Okay, so why is it? Well, you come up with a word that is synonymous with cheap, and you tell your customers why it meets up perfectly in some areas and imperfectly in others. Now, please, for those of you skeptics out there who say, oh, Spencer, come on, you put torque on it, baloney. Baloney. Just got this baby yesterday. It's a Johnson. What I like about it, it has a level line here and at the bottom. So when I'm hanging a 12 inch piece, I'm sorry, a 12 foot piece, I don't have to flip the thing around. Okay? So needless to say, needless to say, it's plumb. Now, for my friends in across the Atlantic, who always held me very, 
very much responsible for my work. This stuff is so cheap, my hands are sliding on it. There's nothing to it, you know? What I love about doing this cut in the corner is the way the wallpaper fits so nicely into the corner, you know? After you cut it, none of this rounded nonsense. Nobody likes that. Okay, so, so after we do one wall, right? We did one wall here. We come up to this next wall. Now, if you don't plumb it, you could use a plumb line. I hate plumb lines. Okay, so I'm making sure that my wallpaper is plumb or straight up and down. Let's see how I did. No, Spencer, not good. It's not good. But that's where the pattern meets. That's where I don't lose any pattern. Just like that. Can I do that? Well, guess what? This is where I differ with other people on this. The wall's only five feet long. Yes, you can do this. You can. But some people swear by it that you can't. And so they want to say on my channel that I make this correct. Now, since I can't bring the top piece out a half an inch because it would be split on the side, right? It would be split in that corner. What do I have to do? Well, if I can't touch the top, I, in order to make this plumb, I gotta bring the bottom into the corner and I'm gonna lose that pattern. Look, as I move my wallpaper in, my level line gets perfectly correct. But that means I'm going to lose some of my corner. Okay, so let's do it. Let me do that and show you what we're losing. First of all, we're going to lift this sheet off of the wall. Because if we overlap this piece onto here, and then cut this piece with this piece under it, you're going to defeat the purpose for having cut this sheet a little longer. You're gonna cut the flap off. You need an eighth of an inch of this paper here to go under this, remember, okay? So get it out of the way so that you can cut this. Gotta cut that off. You're gonna see that if you leave it. Don't do that, that's sloppy work. So look, look at how much our wall went off. Starts out an eighth of an inch up here. 3 sixteenths, quarter of an inch. Whoa, look at this, a half an inch. Then it goes back down. See that? Gotta cut that off. So we don't wanna cut it up against here. We're gonna be voiding the paper here. We'll have a gap in the wall. I've never done that before. Okay, let me cut that. Now when you're dealing with wallpaper that's very thin, gently cut it because you'll tear it. It's so, what was the word we used? No, sheep, right? No. No, 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 we don't use that word. It's flimsy. piece that we had to take out. Now we can reinstall and reactivate the glue. This is a pre-pasted wall cover. We're going to put this back where it's supposed to go underneath 
without a straightaway piece. A straightaway piece is the piece you're looking at when you enter the room. You're not going to see that edge because it's going to die into the wall. Right there. See that? And there you go. Yes, you lose a little pain. But you know what? Once you understand why you have to lose the pattern, all paper hanging can become a real master. Seriously, you gotta know what you're talking about because customers do not understand. They think you're cheating. They think you're doing a lousy job. But once you explain it to them, they say, oh, I see. Okay, so what are the casualties? Look, look what we lost. We lost the piece that joins to here. But that's the sacrifice of not letting the wallpaper run off a half of an inch. Mm -hmm. Somebody puts a level to this. He says, hey, your wallpaper's not straight. And now look up here. We're joined. Why are we joined up here? Well, I explained it to you. It runs off at the bottom, not at the top. Right? So we just put this back in place. And I have to just adjust the top, and that's... Now this is straight. This is all straight now. And so, and so now, just to make sure that you, you know, you trust me, I put my flat back in place. I lose a little pattern at the bottom, okay? And this piece is plumb. It's plumb. Okay? Now we can proceed with the succeeding sheets knowing that they will be straight now, as I came around, put my flap in place, my other sheet that comes right off of the same roll as this one and the entire, this is the last sheet of the same roll. Look at my misalignment. If I pull it too much, this is going to tear. I mean, you who hang wallpaper, you know what this stuff is. It's gonna tear. So what did I do? I took my glue out, even though it's pre-pasted. I need, I need this stuff to slide. And I opened up my paper and I put it on, under paper on the wall. So that I could slide this stuff into position. And look what it does. Look what it does. A little stretching. Keep pushing down. Look. Watch this. See how she goes back up? Look. Would you agree that that meets up? Watch this. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go. Watch this. See it move? But look at this. She meets up here. See that? Meet up just above it. We have that. Oh, sometimes paper hanging can be really, um, you know, not a good feeling. All right. Stretch this into place. Let's try it. You gotta at least try. We don't want to rip it, right? In this situation, have patience. Add some glue and go to work. So Whenever I come across something during my installations that I recall was something that I had to learn the hard way, I want to share it with you. And this is something I've shared in the past. When I used to have trouble back in the 90s when I started really hanging wallpaper uh, full-time during my early 
police career in New York um, <clears throat> was that with the paste the product the or the pre-pasted product you know where you wet the backing which is what this is when this starts this material this pre-pasted material is susceptible to misalignment here's why I think there's just not enough glue on it I mean sure you, if it's just one wall this stuff you can get this stuff on pretty easily and it comes off this is the easiest stuff to remove by the way but when you have to start hanging it on four walls and you have to turn corners it's misalignment galore this is my tip and trick to you for avoiding the situation you're looking at it you are looking at the trick here you go okay that's your trick don't ask me why put glue on the paper put glue on it pay special attention to your edges give them a second pass it's a it's a real problem with pre-pasted products anybody out there agree those of you who are hanging this stuff routinely do you have misalignment problems? I want to hear from the people who hang the stuff often. We got to clamp down. If you use too strong of a clamp, it tears the paper. Too weak of a clamp, it doesn't bite. So that's my, that's my tip for you. Use glue. Now, let me show you. This sheet is going on in place of a sheet that I had to just take off. The misalignment was a half an inch, and I just couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. Plus, with pre-pasted product, this thin veneer, we'll call it vinyl, but listen. It's super thin, and you see this backing here? It's so thin. This removes from this very easily and if you manipulate the paper too much on the wall you'll start seeing that the backing stays against your sheetrock or your wall and the vinyl separates it just it just separates and you could tell it's separated so I add glue to avoid problems
So we were perfect with alignment up here. Perfect. I mean, look at the perfection here. But come down here and it starts to be a real challenge. Look, see that? Now, if you keep stretching this, you're gonna tear it. Now watch. For all of you who hang paper, who are very hard on yourselves, we're off here, we're off here, but we're perfectly matched here. Do not blame yourself. Okay? There's only so much manipulation you can do with this. And we're perfectly matched down here. Okay. So there's a lesson for you.